is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be diving into some wwe action figure stuff we got some action figure stuff going on and basically what we're gonna do every time we get some new reveals and stuff i don't think i've done this in a little bit man i'm gonna use this video as kind of like a wwe action figure guide to purchasing action figures or wwe figures for that matter giving you a reason why you may or may not want to grab these new figures as they're releasing you guys know we have tons of new product coming very soon elite series 92 elite series 93 we have even like product images of top talents figures and ultimates and all these different things coming out man so i'm just gonna run through some different stuff and let you guys know my personal opinions on it and you guys can let me know down in the comment section as well now let's start this thing off with elite series 92 man let's dive into this new ray mysterio i think this ray mysterio is completely skippable it is completely skippable unless you've missed out on so many rays this is very very similar to the elite 72 it's very very similar to the top talents it's very similar to all of those rays that we've gotten in the last couple years there's not a lot of differences between them but if you did miss out on all those i honestly still wouldn't grab this it's not that great of a gear and i would go to a different ray mysterio that you could probably get on clearance now because they show for them everywhere i think the top talents ray mysterios and even if you check ebay you could probably find one there so i would say get away from this ray mysterio i don't think this is a good grab i would go for the Elite 89 or, or just literally any other Rey Mysterio and and we're even getting another one the top talents one that's a good transition right there I completely forgot that we we're getting this other one as well if you're gonna pick one of these go with the pink one man the pink one's sick AF at least it's a difference and change in gimmick there I think that that would be an amazing get I think this Ray is a lot different than the orange Ray but if you had to pick one man definitely go with the black and pink one I think that's an excellent choice but I, I don't know man selling both of these is going to be a hard ask i mean i'm obviously going to get both of them just because it, it's mdt you know but uh at the same time man i think that is what i would do with those raids the next figure that we're going to take a look at man is the elite series 92 rick and charlotte flair now i think if you miss out on the ultimate edition charlotte flair this is a great charlotte flair to grab of course you're not getting the nice robe with it but if you miss out on that ultimate edition charlotte flair this is this is a good pickup right here i think this is one that you will totally enjoy as far as rick is concerned i think he has much better elites this one is double jointed on arms and all those good things but I don't know if it's a game changer. Is this a game changer Ric Flair figure? I don't know. I honestly feel like this figure is probably going to shelf for him. I don't know. That's just the way I'm feeling about it. Maybe there's some old school collectors out there that feel differently. But, you know, it doesn't have the, the pizzazz of a robe. It doesn't have all those great things. So, I don't know. You guys can let me know down below. I think that there are better Ric Flair. And I would just say go after the Ultimate Charlotte. But this is the next step to the Ultimate Charlotte would be this one. So, I could see why you would want to grab it there. But those are my honest opinions on the flare figures moving on up to adam cole this is the best adam cole and it's you know the chase variant is the war games gear like the war games gear is just precious it's beautiful you want to see it this is one that i'd say absolutely grab i know a lot of people missed out on adam cole a lot of his elites go for triple quadruple the price sometimes on ringside on ebay on these online sites so this is a great time to grab adam cole so i think his figures are only going to shoot up in value this is a really great time to get an adam cole even if it's not the chase variant this is a great time to go ahead and grab him get him in the collection and take care of that so i would absolutely go in for the adam cole if you guys have your other adam coles and you don't necessarily want to buy another adam cole i honestly would say trade in your other adam coles sell your other ones and then grab this one it's got a great head sculpt double jointed arms interchangeability probably the best attire we've seen so far so that's what i'd say about cole moving on forward to scarlet man jesus christ Christ. Go get the basic figure, man. I don't know. I, I mean, at, at face value, like, I understand this head sculpt's not the best, right? It's not a great head sculpt, but the body is sick. I love the spikes, and, like, it just reminds me of Insidious, right? It's just got, like, some dark gothic themes going on, and I love the figure from the neck down. Just not a great head sculpt, in my opinion, so I would understand why you'd skip it. She's also not in the company anymore. Maybe that's why you want to grab it. I don't know. I'm just trying to give, you know, devil's advocate here. I'm playing devil's advocate. I'm trying to give you a good side of it, a bad side of it, man be why you do you don't so that you, you could just do with that what you will next up ladies and gentlemen is the burnt fiend now i 
even though I feel like a lot of people are going to want this figure. I, I feel like this one is going to be highly sought after given, you know, everything with the Fiend, everything with Bray Wyatt. I think this, this figure is going to sell pretty good. Now, I guess that remains to be seen, but I would say grab it. I think it's a unique figure, especially if this is going to be his last figure. Similar to the Adam Cole, you know, if you want to get rid of, maybe you got a couple of those other Fiends. You know, keep that Ultimate Edition, sell your Elite Fiend, and then get the Burnt Fiend. So you have that one to go with that one. Maybe you don't care for the Fiend, and you don't, you know, you don't see a reason for it. It wasn't on TV very much, and he's already out of the company, so it's an easy pass. So I would, I would see both sides of that story as well. Next up is Ultimate Edition. Alexa Bliss. This is a must cop, I think. I think if you have any other Alexa Blisses, put them in a lot on eBay and then buy this Ultimate Edition because this is one you're not going to want to miss. With all the interchangeability, with all those great things, you get the head sculpts, you get this cool, like, overthrows, man. This is a great figure. I would say absolute must cop right here, 100%. You could go ahead and just stamp it, hit it with the stamp of approval, and go ahead and buy that figure. Now, moving on to a different Ultimate Edition, we have Triple H. And this one, you may want to skip just because of proportions, right? Like, the torso's not the most accurate. The head sculpts kind of look like not even Triple H, really. Uh, it's it's not a very fun time for everybody as far as DX is concerned. A lot of people hated this era of DX. So I would understand if you wanted to skip it, but it is a handlebar mustache Triple H. Like, I would get why you would may want to do that. It comes with a cool cloth shirt. It is a DX Triple H. Maybe you missed out on the Elite 7. That is a really hard figure to come by. Maybe you missed out on the Walgreens exclusive, which is a DX Triple H. That's another reason why you may want to do that. But it is an Ultimate Edition, and it's kind of—it's not the greatest Ultimate Edition, so I could see why you want to skip out on that. Uh, it's a must-cop for me, just because I love Triple H. He's one of my goats. But at the same time, man, I would totally understand if you didn't want to grab it, but there's your two sides of that one. Moving it on ahead, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Top Talents Rock figure. Now, this is one that you're going to want to get. I think, you know, think about it right here. If you guys missed out on the Ultimate Edition Rock figure, this is going to be one of those figures that's not quite the Ultimate Edition, but it's going to it's gonna rival it a little bit. Like, nothing's going to touch that Ultimate Edition Rock, but this one, you get the cloth jersey, right? You get the mic. You get the sunglasses. You get the double jointed arms. You get the interchangeable hands. Hands. You do get a solid head sculpt here, so this is one of those that I would absolutely grab. It has a great gear in the blue style trunks with the outline of the Rock logo. This is a sick figure. I love this figure. I would endorse this one. If you if you have any other classic rocks, this is the one to grab. Get the jersey or just upgrades, man. Like if you want to trade in, like you, I I don't need two rocks. Okay, then sell your old rock or rocks and get the new one. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's one thing that you can do right there. Easy turnover. Next up is Shotzi Blackheart. I don't know. This one's kind of difficult. It looks amazing as an action figure. I think it's very toyetic as they like to say. But at the same time, you know, not that like I don't know. Is it that iconic? I don't I don't know. It looks great. Like it, it looks like Shotzi. It has very cool, you know, it's got tattoos, it's got this cool gear, it's got the helmet, it's got the green hair, screaming head sculpt, all those different things, but is it a must cop? I do not know. I feel like, you know, she's not like a legendary status, maybe not yet, but this is her first time in the line, so maybe that's one thing you want to get, or maybe you just like to collect the women's figures, then it would be a must grab, but I think it's a badass figure, so I would say cop. Next up is Elite Series 91 Hulk Hogan. This is a must grab, I think. You know, this is a era of Hulk Hogan that we have not seen yet from Mattel, and I think this is a must grab. Say what you will about accuracies and accessories and different things like that, man, but at the end of the day, I think a double jointed Hulk Hogan is pretty much just a must grab at this point, man. I don't know how you deny it. This is a really good figure. I would say grab it. You know, grab up all the Hulk Hogans you can because I feel like they could plug them from the shelf at any given time, so definitely go get this while the iron is hot. Next up is Bianca Belair's Elite 91 figure, and I would say this one's better than the Elite 81. It doesn't come with a sick jacket, and I do love the Elite 81 Bianca. Now that I'm sitting here saying that, I don't know if I can get rid of the Elite 81 Bianca. This one is a slightly better head sculpt, I feel. It also has double jointed arms. I think we're heading into trade-in territory again, but I would see, you know, if you have that first one, you like that cloth jacket, and, you know, you don't really care about the articulation, then this one's completely skippable as well. Sami Zayn, an updated Sami Zayn. If you don't really care about the main roster, this is an easy skip, right? Like, if you don't care about, you know, any of the current day talent, then you could literally just skip over this, Austin Theory, and Kevin Owens. But if you guys care about keeping up with that updated roster, trying to get guys that are first time in the lines in Austin Theory here, I know it's a first time in the line elite. It's not a first time in the line ever. He was a basic before, but the Kevin Owens is a great update from his last figure, and the Sami Zayn is also a great update. But if you guys don't care about the current roster, then that solves your problem right there. And I think the last figure 
in this video that we're going to talk about today, man, is going to be the Rob Van Dam Elite 91. This figure is so unskippable that you must grab it. I would Every time I see this at retail, I'm going to buy it. I am going to buy this every time I see it at retail. Doesn't matter if I see it 16 times, I will be buying this RVD. I think it's going to be one of the better figures of the year. It's already an early contender in my book, and I'm definitely going to be grabbing it if uh, if it's there. Like, if I walk in, there's four on the thing. I'm probably going to buy all four. I may leave one, you know, because I want other people to have a chance at it. I'm just saying that this is one that's going to be highly sought after, and it's one that I definitely want to grab. So... I'm definitely going to be grabbing an extra or two or three of the RVD. You guys know when I have a figure that I really love, I get multiples of it for different reasons. I can't explain it all the way, but you guys get the point. But RVD is a must-grab Elite 91. Beautiful looking figure. We do not get a replacement Chase variant, but that is okay. The figure still slaps. And the regular version is better than the Chase anyway. So, you know, we're, we're all well over here. But that pretty much wraps up today's video, man. I hope you guys did enjoy the Buyer's Guide to New WWE Figures 2022. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Are these must-cops? What are you skipping? What are you buying? What do you have in your brain as far as skipping? You know, what goes into a figure? Some people just collect first time in the line some just are legends only some are flashbacks only some are you know current roster and some legends or you know what is your criteria for collecting man maybe it's just i collect them when i like the figure if i don't like the figure i don't get it what is your criteria uh my buying criteria is get everything so i can review it on the channel and uh you know just y y collect the guys i like so there, there there it is thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you do not cross the line like me when i thought it was a good idea to buy 90,000 john cena figures you cross the line i've been beaten broken down inside